Welcome to another episode of You Had to Beat Her Podcast, where we talk about movies, books, games, uh, uh, cereal, and, um, dang, I forgot, what's her name? Your mama. Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> your bad, I'm your man, Bub. Boy, Animeasy, man, what's going on? What's up, Bub, man? What's happening? Oh, been, a, been a long time, man. Been Since, a uh, we apologize, you know, some things, some personal things came up, some, uh, you know what I mean, that we'd rather not discuss. Uh, you know what I mean? A lot of things been happening, but we're back. New year. And, and um, we thank you for the subscribers that have been subscribing, that's been rocking with us. Appreciate it. You know what I'm saying? But. Yo. Free agency, dog. Free agency, man. Steelers off season. We got a, a couple people we don't know, but. <laughs> but don't they always? <laughs> Since when does the Steelers have an exciting free agency period? Never. Exactly. I think Patrick Peterson is the most exciting person that we have picked up in free agency in a long time. Why do we got to pick up somebody that needs... <laughs> we get it. Yeah. But we don't. Few years too late. I mean, do we have to go to the senior citizen home to pick up another I, corner? Like, what are we doing a, here? AARP you working? <laughs> AARP meetings. <laughs> um, we keep get like, yo, we got an old Michael Vick. We got old Michael Vick. Yeah, you know yo, know he saying? did back up Ben, didn't he? Yeah, yeah, we, we got a refurbished Vick. You know what I mean? Hey, like, yo, wow. Got some old like I know Mike Tomlin always wanted Patrick P. Yeah, oh yeah, he's look, look, don't don't get me mistaken. Patrick P, eight-time Pro Bowl. Oh, yeah, probably more than that. Yeah. Uh, yeah. You know what I'm saying? Four All-Pros. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Play play with the uh, Cardinals. Bonafide Hall of Famer. I think we lost Cam Sutton, which I was hoping we definitely would not. We lost Cam Sutton. I'm... But when he got that bag, yeah. I am mad. Hey, congrats, Cam. Hey, yo, congrats. You, you, you worked you for, work that. for that. You got that. You earned yeah, that, yo. For sure. Like, yo, we looked up last, we looked up last year. We had a discussion about who was the better, best corner. Right. And he said Cam Sutton was a better corner than Marcus Peters. I was like, no, he's not. But look at the numbers. Cam Sutton had better numbers than Marcus Peters. Yeah. So look at that. So he earned that bag. Yeah. He, he earned, earned he earned that bag. Right. People think, like, oh, we lost Cam Sutton, then we got Patrick Peterson, and that he's a replacement for Cam Sutton. And for me, that's not the case. That's not. Because <clears throat> Patrick Peterson's an outside corner. That's what he plays. Cam Sutton moved all around, but he right. played primarily the slot in a nickel packages and dime packages. Right. Those that don't understand, those are two totally different corner positions. When you play in an outside corner, you have the sideline as a third, as a, another DB for you, another right. barrier for you. When right. you play in the inside, you're ba it, it, it's crazy right there, right? All types of traffic, when you play tight in, ends running. Okay, so, so know the difference between outside and inside. When you're inside a girl, <laughs> and you outside, you know the difference. You know the difference. Unless you know she got, you know. <laughs> unless she's a ran through, it's like throwing a hot dog down a hallway. Ooh, <laughs> ooh! Oh, and throwing a pickle down the Grand Canyon. Dang. <laughs> you said no. All. And that's what basically the debacle that we're in. That's the debacle we in. You know what I mean? Patrick P, we so appreciate that. Because not only did your number stand out last year as yeah. like as like one of the top, I'd say seven top ten corners in the league. Yeah, yeah, he had, he had five picks for the Vikings if I recollect. Yeah, he does. Five picks, yeah. He does. So we signed back James Pierre for a year. We got Pierre, uh-huh. Okay, we got KZ. Uh, KZ signed back in. The, one thing that stores believe in, they believe in free agency starts in-house. Yeah, Before facts. they go outside. So we signed Larry Okunjobi, uh, uh, KZ. That was the, that was the biggest A-plus. That was yeah. the biggest A plus because we couldn't have lost him. We couldn't lose him. Mm -hmm. He's very competitive. Very. Very competitive. So, you know what I mean? Him him on that outside, monster. Hey, yo, I was thinking this though. What if they moved him to safety? 
Mm, and have KZ. I don't think that I, would work. Nah, uh-uh. KZ's plan back up to Minka and uh, and uh, uh, Patrick Peterson, and depending on the formation, they have them three safeties. But and get mm. and then getting and drafting a top corner like a, a Joey Porter Jr. or a, a, a Devin Witherspoon or a Cam Smith or mm. like like what if they were to do that? Some of my ball skills. Minka could do everything in history. Have you ever seen two high caliber, smart safeties that can play the ball like those two in the same uh, same defensive back? Last time I seen it was uh, Paul Amalo and Ryan Clark. See, but Ryan Clark don't got the pedigree. He he just worked well with Troy. He don't okay. got the pedigree. That here, 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 I'll give you one pedigree. He's a killer. Oh yeah, oh, yeah. He's, he's a killer. Yeah, he's he's definitely homicidal, look, suicidal, look, genocidal. Look, look, yeah, look. Yeah. If the black version of Bobby Boucher was in real life, that's Ryan Clark. That's no. Clark. <laughs> yeah. If you're not a Steelers fan. You haven't watched a few games, especially against the Ravens, and where you almost died tackling Willis McGahey. Like he ended him there. Yo, I mean, I didn't shit. see Willis McGahey after that. Man, it was that. That was. I mean, he got up first. Like you know, Brown no. Park got up first. We thought they both died in the field that day. Right. Like RC right. don't mind putting himself to sleep to make a tackle. Fast. We understand he is suicidal, homicidal, and genocidal. There's but, something wrong with him. He must have ate King Vitamin his whole small age. <laughs> like his roof from that far. Yeah, so he takes it out on everybody yeah, else. <laughs> the other way, he ate puff rice. <laughs> and it, it, and it just like disintegrated before he got to the got to it. Every second it's it just gone. Now he's just mad. He eating just like milk soup. <laughs> <laughs> Only defensive backfield I could say that was probably the best like that was Earl Thomas and um Cam Chancellor. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Earl, he's Tom dope. Earl Thomas and Cam Chancellor was probably the best defensive backfield I've ever seen. If mm. you put Patrick Peterson, I know he's not the hitter that Cam Chancellor is. But you have two ball hawks like that, that that's out there tracking the ball. Right. Draft a young corner. You had now you have a, a bona fide star and Minka for, uh, Minka mm -hmm. Fitzpatrick, and you have a bona fide Hall of Famer and uh, Patrick Peterson who can teach the young boy the game, and they can both mention him on how to play the game. And again, you, you get a, you get a fast star right there, man. I think our defense, like Levi Wallace, I think he, he, he's he. He's serviceable. Oh yeah, yeah for he, sure. He was playing number for one sure. receiver most of the most of the year. So you and he didn't do bad. He he probably he got burnt. Good. He probably got burnt like three times and out of and everybody get burnt. Yeah. Speaking of Seahawks, speaking of Pittsburgh Steelers. Okay, what are you going to? It is hard to say <laughs> goodbye to yesterday. Devin Bush. Oh, it ain't hard to say goodbye to him. That's what I said. That's I, I, I had the door open. <laughs> <laughs> I had the door in the gate. I was treating them like Martin Lawrence. Get the step. <laughs> <laughs> I was him like Martin yelling the crib. Hey, yo, when he was riding bikes around the city, I put a Nas kit on that nigga's shit while he was asleep. <laughs> right, hey, so, boom, Yeah, boom, right, so, so he can excite bike his way the fuck out of here. Man, yo, man. I couldn't wait for him to leave. For all Owens, I, I gave him the DRS, you know. Yeah. Uh, this song dedicated to <laughs> my homies and the gangsta lean. <laughs> I was like, not to rail. Not to rail. People's career, you know what I mean? I'm not really mad at it because he, he, he felt like he needed something new. But to rail being gone, right? I didn't want that to happen. Me neither. Me neither. Me neither. I wanted to get. We wanted to get his brother. We wanted to get his brother. We, we look. We know if we if we had Terrell, we had a better chance of getting uh, Tremaine, and we pissed the bed on that one. When does the Pittsburgh Steelers ever do this? Never. Go get Derek Watt though. Yeah. Which which is cool. It makes sense at the time. A running game was struggling. Would you rather go to Popeyes? Right? Popeyes is good. It got a good chicken sandwich. Okay. Right. But 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 you know somebody at McDonald's, you can get a discount. Where would you rather go? Listen, I'm going to go with quality. So you're going to Popeyes? I'm going with quality. I'm not going to... And that's what I'm saying. Your that... Watt was a quality fullback. 
He if, was. If you use him. The nigga I knew at McDonald's because T.J. Watt was the boss there. I get it. I get that. But as far as fullbacks go in the league. But Tremaine is like. Tremaine was a middle linebacker. Hey, yo. And he, he was, was he the, the pop. Hey, he was the pop at chicken sandwich. Nah, man. Wendy's got a better chicken sandwich. I don't think oh. anybody say the spicy chicken sandwich at Wendy's is fire. Hold on. So you trying to debate Wendy's is better than Popeye's no. chicken sandwich? Yeah. The spicy chicken sandwich from Wendy's is better than Popeye's. Yo, you're disrespectful. I mean, you would grab a Wendy's spicy chicken with 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 a with a ice cream. Listen, you would with a frosty. Yeah, darn right. Cause they sell frosties. I hate you know my who, fucking family. No, know, know who don't sell frosties? Popeyes. <laughs> Look, Popeye's chicken sandwich better than any chicken sandwich I ever had from anywhere. Hey. And number two is Chick Fil A, but we ain't gonna talk about it. I, look, we ain't gonna talk I about it. I have beef with Chick Fil A anyway. So what? They're mad. Christians. Let's, they don't work on Sunday. No. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, even though they sell the gospel bird, you call it the chicken. That's the gospel. Yeah. <laughs> All right, I'm gonna say something about Chick Fil A. I'm done. Chick Fil A. Is nothing but to me, it's just glorified dino nuggets. Oh! Wow. I said it. I'm done. I'm hooked. I said. So, so you mean to tell me they can put it in the oven and a microwave? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and that's not chicken. <laughs> that's not real chicken. <laughs> like you either deep fried. Look, we don't boil chicken. I don't know who the hell boils. We don't chicken. boil meat. Yeah. We, look, like, that's. <laughs> you know what it is. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Shout out to y'all though. Shout out to y'all. You know, shout out for Wendy's patties for never cutting corners. <laughs> I don't like Wendy's at all. Yo, and look, any chicken nuggets is fire. Yeah, they chicken nuggets is fire. Yes, they but are. but their burgers ain't nothing. I don't care about their burgers. Thank yeah, their their burgers are suspect. I, I, look, I'm still. I'll go with the Whopper for real, for real. Yeah, yeah. You know what I'm saying? I'll, I'll do that. Be on a highway, right? I'll go down the highway. I will stop and get pieces. From every franchise that I like. Oh. I'm petty. No, that's greedy. <laughs> I'll go get a I'll go get a double cheese from McDonald's. I'll go get a slider from Arby's. I'll go get the mashed potatoes from KFC. Like, if it's just me, that's what I'm doing. I ain't got that much patience. <laughs> So, that so, is patient. All right, so look, so I, I'm, I'm glad we're here. We arrived here, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, but right. We, but we came here. We had fast food. Okay? <laughs> so we talk about everything. We have fast food oh, right yeah, now. Yeah, we, what is the top five fast food chains out there? All right, top five. Wow. Wow. I, I, I got to rank these joints. All right, Bird King is right. It's, it's three. Taco Bell. For real, I'll go Taco Bell two. Wendy's is four. McDonald's is five. Pizza Hut, number one. Mmm. So that's your go-to, Pizza that, Hut. That, that's, that's my go-to. Okay. KFC would be number five. Mm. Say Burger King be number four. All right. McDonald's would be number three. Taco Bell would be number two. And I'd say my all-time favorite, Arby's. So you keep Arby's in business? It's you. It's me. No. It's me. It's me. I'm good for the curly fries. I'm good for nothing but curly look, fries. Look, give me the lunch meat. I'm cool with the lunch meat. I'm I'm good with the lunch meat. Hey, Arby's, he's keeping y'all in business. I'm keeping y'all in business. He keep, oh, wow. Yeah, I'd right, kill a nigga over that roast beef. <laughs> Don't play with me about that roast beef. The roast beef sandwich is okay. It's okay. But I have to be in dire straits to go to Arby's. My right. honorable <laughs> mention, my honorable mention is Rowley's. Mine too. Yeah, that's my, that, that, that big Buford is crazy. And the fries, man. Yeah, The fries like, is crazy. Hey, look, yeah. I get the extra large fries. I'm like, the, they get the fry lover. I'm be eating fries all, <laughs> yeah. day, all day long. We're going to say the suckiest two. We're going to go suckiest two. What's the suckiest two? I'm going to put Arby's in there. <laughs> you hating on my success. <laughs> Arby's are for real on KFC. KFC mm. is trash now. It's, 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 you know what? It depends on what KFC you go. I'll go to ones in the hood. Worth <laughs> <laughs> I'll, look, I, I venture out to 
suburban KFCs, but the mm. ones in the hoods be 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 garbage, man. No. The things like this, like yo, I used to love KFC, right? I used to, you know, they remember they had the little uh, little hot and barbecue wings. And stuff oh like yeah, that? fire! They don't do those joints anymore. No the potato wedges fire. They don't get them joints anymore. No yeah, fire. Like the chocolate cake used to have was was bomb. They yeah. don't got yo KFC has changed. It's trash now. Styles, what's up? Moomoo, what's up? How y'all doing? Y'all can y'all can pull up a chair and get on a podcast. Mm -hmm. Come on, come on, pull happening? up. A, right. We got some kids that I mentor. Bottom two fast food places would be Wendy's. Wendy's is trash. Oh, well, out of here, man. Yeah, here yo, that. Wendy's. Uh, yo, it's it's terrible. It's terrible. Yo, the burgers are nasty. <laughs> the burgers, the burgers are, 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 are chitlin' juice. Chicken sandwich is better than McDonald's. Everybody's chicken sandwich is better than McDonald's. <laughs> we're we're uh, the Chinese, it's like a fast food Chinese place. A fast food Chinese place? Yeah, like you can go up to the- uh, You get drive through general stuff? Yeah, yo, real <laughs> shit. <laughs> you can't, no, nah, for real, on everything I love. I'm dead serious. You can get drive through General So. They have a drive through. It is a place where you can get fast food Chinese. I bet it'd be old. It'd be dumb old. It'd be <laughs> dumb old. Yeah, you eat it. <laughs> As I said, it's the bottom. It, look, it was the it's the bottom of my list. The edges be hard. Everything, you know what I'm saying? Saying? Everything dog. Be hard. Dog. It looked like a cat pooped this general shows out. It's I mean, crazy. Well, I mean, it's poor cat. Uh, yeah. It was poor cat. You know. They, they, Come on, stop being racist, yo. Being racist. Hold on, you said you said I'm not Chinese being racist. people. I'm being stereotypical. <laughs> I'm not being racist. What's up? What I always say, man. Like this, this generation is raised on uh, hot Cheeto dust. <laughs> <laughs> so the Steelers ended up grabbing Cole Cole Harcum. Holcomb. Holcomb. Yeah. Holcomb. Middle, middle line and Eldon. I can't remember his last name. Yo, I can't look. What's up with this? Correct. We we can't we can't like like the Ramondre. Roberts. Yeah, but his first name we can't say. It's, it's Eldon and. Yeah, it's Eldon Ring. That's just what it is. It's Eldon. It's Eldon. <laughs> but, but, but why is it spelled like that? I mean, people this nigga be... got ten letters for two syllables. Unique. Some people put hey, hi, look, this nigga hyphenate his name. This is not Ramondre. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> this name's not Ramondre. Okay, A.K.A. Blue Magic here in Greece. Ghetto was named, but not, not, not ghetto, not ghetto. <laughs> it's the blackest name. Uh, yo, yo, yeah, but, but, but check this out. But, but check this out. I know a nigga named Falantepe. I know someone named Josh Dinkins. That, that's a nigga name. That's a, no, that ain't no black name. That's a nigga name. Yeah, there's Arangelo out there. There's yeah. Arangelo out there. Arangelo? Uh -huh. So so what's up with black people having these weird ass first names and then the white people have weird ass last names? See, look. See, see, I'm glad that I'm biracial, but if I had like the hoodest, hoodest dad and like the whitest, whitest mom, I'd have been fucked over. Listen, you, you just lucky that you didn't get the name that was brought over. You know, so you got the slave name. Yeah, I got the slave. You didn't get the ski. Yeah, yeah, yeah I didn't get the ski. You, you, you I got the son. Yeah, right. Yeah, I got the son. You didn't you, you get, yeah. get the Johnson, Jackson, yeah. Thompson. Yeah, I got the son. Not not Pulaski. You know what I'm saying? You didn't get that. So what what do you feel about um the two middle linebackers that we got? Kind of being played. Jeez. So even though they were well, yeah, because we 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 watch, don't watch Commanders. Yeah, but yeah, the, I keep about to call them the Skins again. The, the Commanders. Yeah. Yeah, we don't watch the, the, the Skins. The Skins. I watch the Redskins. Pause. You had to say Redskins. You had to say you Skins. Can, come on, man. Everybody said Skins. Like, yo, you watch the Skins play. We all. Knew what Do you we know what about. we used to call Skins? And we all know what Skins <laughs> is, man. <laughs> they they <laughs> pork rats. <laughs> Your opinion, Styles, because like I said, he's a quarterback. He's 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 a great quarterback. You know what I'm saying? He's like one of my kids. He's like a, a cousin to him. You feel what I'm saying? He he definitely passes my son the ball. Pause. 
You know what I'm saying? Like, that made it gay. <laughs> no, <laughs> no. Like, like, like being attention to it makes it, makes it suspect. No, I wasn't even trying to be sussy. <laughs> but, but you didn't say, you didn't have to say, you didn't have to say, hey, he's a quarterback. You know what I'm saying? If, no, if, if you say you passed your, his son the ball, and then you say pause, it's going to make it gay. It, it, I, it, I, it, I, it, I mean, it, I get it. It makes it a little sus. All right, so. He's a great quarterback. All right, this is just what we're going to do. I think our, our best uh, free agency pickup was? Patrick Peterson. Mm, and why is that? Because we need corners. <laughs> what, what do you think? Oh, well, he, he's, he's a, a, he's a, a fan. Yeah, he's a Ravens fan. Hey, okay, Ravens all right, bet. Oh, that's good. So, so <laughs> oh, oh, that's I, good. I, I, I forgot. I, I, I yeah. What do you feel about Lamar Jackson? I don't like him. Like no playoffs. Oh. What? And you're a, a Baltimore oh, yeah, Raven fan? All you do is run. All you do. So he's a running back. Yeah, go for it. You better running back than a quarterback. So who would you rather have? No, I don't think so. I take the ball to pick every time. I take the ball to pick every time I watch it. So what's the what do the Ravens need? A better quarterback. <laughs> <laughs> you know, you don't. No assay. Uh, hold on, hold on, hold on. No, because no I was trying to tell. This is a Baltimore Ravens fan. I don't fan. care. I watch the Ravens too. Because I, I want to hate them. I watch them. I watch them to hate them. I, watch, I can see them fail. Look, but every I time I watch to... them, I always see Lamar Jackson throwing touchdowns and running for stuff. I, <laughs> right. I get it. But this is my point. Yeah. I had a, a previous show with him talking about how Lamar Jackson ain't a good quarterback. That he was four in our division. Mm -hmm. Bull because, crap. This is my point about Lamar Jackson. Like, don't get me wrong. He's he hard. is very fundamental. He's hard. Very he's fundamental. He's fundamental. He's not fundamental. Yes, he, he is. He don't have good fundamentals. Yes, he does. He know how. Look, he could throw the ball hard. He could throw the ball long, and he's, most of the time he's accurate. But it's 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 throw motion crazy. I don't know about the playoff games. Yeah, look, he'll, look. He'll, he'll I'm telling you. I'm telling you. But Lamar but Jackson. But he with an MVP. Lamar. Yeah, for can, running. Can he gonna win that? Hey, who? Guess who didn't win an MVP? Who? Ben Roethlisberger. Hey, yo, stop talking about my man. Stop talking about my man. Don't talk about my man's like that. And guess who's not gonna win an MVP? Who? Kenny Pickett. And you stop playing with my man. <laughs> this is what's so crazy about your statement. And that was a bold statement, <laughs> which was very fucking disrespectful. And you, and you need to get a thousand lashes at the tabernacle. So look, this is what's going to happen, right? <laughs> <laughs> Kenny Pickett had third and second team reps all last oh season. Oh my gosh, here we go again. Yes. Yeah. I don't care. <laughs> <laughs> exactly. So did Brock Purdy, but he didn't lose. Brock Purdy also got San Francisco. You're right. You got Debo, Christian McCaffrey, George Kittle, Brandon Ayuk. Mm -hmm. Defense, we got Nick Bosa. My man. Um, Tart. Okay, that's enough. But then what I'm saying? Fred Warner. Yeah, Fred Warner. Yeah, Fred Warner. yeah, yeah. Every, Drake everybody, Drake everybody, he just said. Besides TJ Watt is ten times better than anybody on the still. Oh! What about Minka? Uh, Minka? Okay, okay. Minka with the exception of Minka too. To us, he's top three. To the rest of the world, he is not top three. He's not top three. He ain't top three. He ain't top. I said quality. I didn't say elite. But look, but look. There was there's only one other tight end in NFL history to have sixty plus catches in two seasons. And who's that? I don't know who it is, but. <laughs> oh, Fryer number two? Fryer number two, quality, quality tight end. For so sure. So you can't say. Oh, Fryer like, like my that dog. don't have talent. Look, look, but what I'm saying is we had a situation this year. Again, football is about chemistry. This is what I teach them. You feel what I'm saying? Yeah. Football is about chemistry. If you don't have no chemistry, you're not going to be a good team. I don't care how many starters, and, how many good and, players, and, or anything. And if you yeah. don't have talent. Yeah. Seahawks <laughs> went like nine and five with barely no talent. Listen, I mean, I know somebody who made Hey, yo, guess what? The Browns, on paper, are, 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 are probably the uh, yeah, top three teams. And they the, suck because they don't. No chemistry. No, because now they don't, they don't got talent at the best position. They do. He's pretty good. Who? Um, I'm, I'm who? who Brissett? How good was the Sean Washington being start, first started? The first look, three and four games? Look, on the Browns, he wasn't that good. Okay, cool. But, but look, all around, he's better than Lamar. 
I mean, all around, you're better with more. Thank you. Uh, I've been said this. I mean, I've been that's, said, that's, yeah, Bob, I've been said <laughs> this. Oh, but how many playoff wins does Deshaun Watson have? Probably the same amount as whatever his name is. Lamar. Lamar has got one at least. And so do who? I don't, I don't see. I don't know who he beat. Who? Josh Allen. Yeah, he sure did. Right. He sure did. He, did be he sure did. And got, he almost beat Patrick. Williams. So they both got one, and he doesn't. And yo, he had. He nah, did man. it with a hole. Oh. That's one person. Well, I, I, that is one of the best receivers with the best hands in the league. But, 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 and, and, and Lamar Jackson who had Lamar beat? Mark Andrews. Who, who did Lamar beat? Who did Lamar beat? Who did they beat? Did they beat the? They beat the Bills too. I don't think did they, they beat, beat the Bills. The Bills? No. Oh, I know beat. who they beat. Who they beat? They beat they beat the Titans. Ah, mm-hmm. uh, but it, but it, oh, it wasn't it wasn't because the offense. Derrick Henry. It wasn't because the offense. Yo, you're talking like, about no, one player, bro. Hey, yo, Derrick Henry done put up 200 yard games on people. Okay, one player can change a game. People like T.J. Watt, right? When he was not on the field, how was the record of the Steelers? One player. No doubt. Like that, no, thank you. Okay, oh, okay. Oh, 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 oh. Now, come on. Can't be something else. No, no, no. This is what makes me more sense. You ready for this? I'm ready for it. You ready for this? Yeah. All right, all right. So check this wow. out. Here, 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 here. TJ Watt came back, came right back <laughs> when Kenny Pickett was already in. And Kenny Pickett won a game. So you're right. One person can change the whole dynamic. And it was Mitch, TJ Watt. Mitch was terrible. It was TJ Watt. M- Mitch was, it was terrible. TJ Watt. Man, stop playing with it was me. T- Mitch was terrible. It was t- they still would score a touchdown a game. Yeah. Mitch was terrible. And they still killed a touchdown a game, even with Kenny. Look, man. So, <laughs> it was TJ. Hey, look, Kenny, look, Kenny's that dude, Rick Root, without hey, wrestling yo, moves, all right? How, how many yards and touchdowns <laughs> did they give up? When T.J. Watt wasn't in the game, Look, how many sacks did they have when T.J. Watt was? Oh, in the Oh, Smith was turning up. He got fourteen and a half. He had most of them when T.J. was in the game. When T.J. was not in the game, yes, he did. <laughs> no, the first game, the first game, he got four sacks. The first game, he got four sacks when T.J. was in. That's facts. But T.J. Four, but TJ was knocking people's helmets off. Like Joe Mixon got whacked. I'm not gonna hold you. I guess the Bengals. Nobody blocked him, and he whacked Joe Mixon. I don't think he was looking for the QB. He was trying to hit anybody. Hey, that's cool. <laughs> he was a minute. He was a minute. Because look, when Levi Wallace picked the ball off, Minka whacked Boy and kept going. He just walked off. Like, they yeah. was, was head hunting. They, they wasn't worried about sex. Oh, no. They, 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 they were, no, they were yeah, menacing. They were being a menace. You cannot deny the fact that when TJ's not in the game, the Steelers lose. Oh, he's, it, they don't just lose. They're not impactful. We get beat on. They, <laughs> they're, they're, they're not, well, they get beat, beat on. on. Hold on, hold on. Time out, time out, time out though. So, so let's look at the stats, and I'm about to put it up for you. Fuck stats. I, I, I'm going to pull it up. Pull it up. All right, so check this out. TJ Watt was out for half of the season. Mm-hmm. Okay? So was, was Kenny out for half of the season? No. He, if, before TJ Watt came in, Kenny Pickett was two and one. It was Mitch. It has a lot to do with TJ being out, and it has a lot to do with Mitchell Trubisky sucking as a quarterback. They still basically average the same amount of points. Now, did the offense run better and look better? Yes, it did. When, when Kenny was in the game, the offense ran better and looked better. But they still only put up 20 points a game, if that. Regardless of who was that quarterback, uh, TJ wasn't in, couldn't hold the teams that. Now, when mm. he was in, still putting up 20 points a game. Mm. Now, they were giving up 17 or 14 points a game. Yeah, you pee? Mm. Mm. I, I know I pee. dang I pee. well. But the offense looked better. What you guys think? You're a Ravens fan. <laughs> what happened? If you let a lineman take it 98 yards to the crib. Ooh. Ooh. Your backup QB can't oh, hold the ball. Let's go back and forth. <laughs> <laughs> That's the other way. I wasn't watching that game. Like a man. Like a man. Like a man. Hey, hey, no, I'm going to dig the whole thing. I'm going to dig the whole thing. You watched it. I didn't watch it. I did the second quarter. I did the second quarter. I turned it off. I didn't start losing. All right, so look. So who? we gave y'all some time. Top four quarterbacks, AFC North. You can go first. I was talking Brady. AFC North. AFC North, man. Number one. Hey, he's a fan. He's a fan. He's a fan. Hold on, hold on. Lamar's number one or four? He's number four. Oh, okay. okay. Number three. Bill Barrow. Ooh. You know, you know four is the worst, right? Mm-hmm. 
Jesus Christ, that's gonna go viral. <laughs> Propel Montour, athletic department. You have failed this young man. <laughs> okay. You have failed him, and and we and we need a meeting. Okay, we need, we need a meeting Ooh. about which I teach these people. That's, 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 that's his opinion. That's his opinion. That's his opinion. You know what I'm saying? So so Styles, what is your bet top four quarterbacks in the in, in the AFC North? All right, so I'm gonna do this again. How we how they play against the Steelers? So I'm watching. Number three, Lamar is four. Mm. He's two. Joey B is number one. My nigga, he picked exactly what I picked. My nigga, that's what I'm saying. <laughs> that's what I'm saying. That's cool. Look, look, look. <laughs> that's what, cool. I'm, what I'm saying is, what I'm saying is, he he understands what I'm saying. When when you give, we have to judge Kenny by what he does this year, not not last year. Then I can't. That he doesn't exist. But he's going to exist. Don't tell, don't, don't give me the 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 crystal ball theory. He even had Look, seven yo. touchdowns and nine picks. Hey. Don't give me this stuff. Okay, so, get, hey, yo. so so with a, with a trash O line. I don't care what he got. All right, well I care, nigga. Trash <laughs> O line. Okay. Ravens trash O line. Uh, <laughs> Dion, he likes the Steelers, but but he's a traitor. He fought with the 49ers. Oh, too. hey, I'm not a traitor. I Look, huh? I do too. So, I like him too, so but I ain't gonna wear no 49ers jersey. Not, 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 not so since since I was nine years old. So that was that's it. That's my that's my number one. I rap with him thick and thin. We had Jeff Garcia as quarterback. Yeah, yeah don't uh, all day, man. Hey, Ricky Waters, Floyd. You know what I'm saying? Like, I have a question. Yeah, what's up? In the 2019 or that 2020? Oh, um, when, when the whole the, the Super Bowl. Oh, the Super Bowl. Oh man, so uh, the defense couldn't stop. Because uh, I was winning that first. At, no, the, de the the defense could not stop um, <laughs> the teams <laughs> after the after the, um, halftime. Andy Reid made made the adjustment. Defense couldn't stop it, and the one throw that Jimmy G needed to make to Emmanuel Sanders, he overthrew him by five yards. He couldn't do it, right, and and question. that and that's the fold. Right, that, that's where the fold happened. I got another question. <laughs> this year against the Eagles. They, they they went to their fourth string quarterback. They were nervous because their first two quarterbacks went down. And they was they didn't know what they had in Brock Purdy. Like all right, hey, yo, you know there, hey. got Brock, and he turned out to be dope. Hey, yo. he got hurt. Take the first two QBs. Yeah, Jimmy G and Trey Lance. Y'all saw y'all listen. Y'all could have picked somebody other than Trey Lance. Y'all could have got Justin. I was I wanted Justin. I was screaming yeah, Justin Fields. Speaking of 49ers and the Steelers. On Big Ben's podcast, footballing, mm -hmm. right? Oh, I know what he's talking about. Okay, so so we had we had a crazy situation where they didn't think Jimmy G was going to be that dude. Mm -hmm. They didn't. Uh, Trey Lance was hurt. Mm -hmm. You know, what I mean, they didn't know nothing about Brock. Everybody Burton. knew Jimmy. Jimmy G went games. I don't care nobody so, said. That's a fact. I yeah. can't. I, look, he sucks, but he's good. I don't know what why, why exactly. that is. Right, right, right. I don't understand yeah, why that games. is. They hit up our Hall of Fame quarterback. Yes, right. Ben Roethlisberger. I now, been. now, let me ask us as Steeler fans: Could you see Big Ben in another jersey other than the Steelers? No. Ben said he was like, I thought about it because I thought I could still do it. But I ain't seen none of our quarterbacks ever done nobody nowhere else other than Mike Vick. He was already somewhere else. So whoever we draft, I don't think they're gonna go nowhere else. Thing Neil O'Donnell and Buddy Brisker that's just for y'all time. Yeah, that was saying they don't even know who that is. Yeah, like well Neil O'Donnell threw two interceptions in the in the Super Bowl. Yeah, and, oh and boy, I wanna go. His life was in danger. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah. And, 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 Cord and Cordell Stewart. Cordell Stewart went to um went to Chicago. He went to Shanley Park too. We ain't gonna go back into that. <laughs> Believe the yeah. rumor. Yeah. I just he also got a bump for every <laughs> <laughs> bro. <laughs> Maybe that was out of line. Yeah, that was out of line. But what's the truth? Your face. It's 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 an inside. It's an inside that you got. Yeah. You, had you had to be there. there. You had to be there. Look, no, 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 no. Yeah, yeah, facts. Oh. To answer my own question, I couldn't see him in another in another jersey. I I, I wouldn't have. I he, wouldn't he, have respected he, it. He, he, I, I would have respected it, but. I wouldn't respect it if he stayed in the AFC North. But another team, I, I wouldn't you be know able, what? I would yeah. respect it, 
but I would I wouldn't be. I'd ready have watched for the games. I wouldn't, I wouldn't have been ready for it. Yeah, I wouldn't I, have been ready. I've been like Ben. I couldn't in a, see in another jersey. I couldn't see Ben in a Niner jersey, even though I'm a Niner fan. I couldn't see him in a Niner jersey. I just jersey. can't. I just can't. Now, I would. I wouldn't have been. I'd have been all right with it because you put Ben on that team, he's gonna get protected. He ain't gonna get sacked. They right. can run the ball. He can pass the ball like real quick. Your boy Aaron Rodgers. A run. A A run. Hey, hey, bro, hey, bro, this nigga be beating his dick in the dark. I don't know what the fuck is wrong with this nigga. <laughs> really? That's really going yeah, yeah, for real. <laughs> Look, he tells people he's going in the dark. What you going in the dark for, bro? <laughs> Think about it. A 39-year-old man goes in the dark. Listen, he's what's that, ayahuasca? He's getting high. Okay, he's he locked himself in the place for two weeks and got high. That's all he did. He got real high. <laughs> and, and what does he see when he gets high? I can't tell you what. I don't, but everything in here right now, right now, you know what I mean? It's gonna be something. Like, no, no. This nigga got a rhinestone glove, like like he Michael Jackson in the dark, and he got a neon light, so so he can see where his hands going. You need to know where your hand going. That he does. The darkness, hallucinating. He had a white dude said he took acid and seen a monkey on somebody's shoulder. Right, so right. imagine what the hell he going through. Have you, and they seen that shit in the light. Have you ever been to the bathroom at night? Wow. You know what I'm saying? And just like you knew the toilet was. You know, you know, you know, you know what your stuff is. You know where it is. It's been there the whole life. You don't gotta check for it. You know where it is. Like you don't need to like let me get let me check the light. Yeah, it's still there. No. <laughs> Between we're in between 38 and 40 some some odd. You know what I'm saying? Are you taking a, a hallucinative drug to go in the dark to make a football decision? About football. He would just want to he get high after every season. Too much stress. He can't, he's like, you know what? I had enough of this, okay? It's cold in Green Bay. I'm gonna go over somewhere warm and dark. I just wanna I just wanna get away from this. I'm gonna escape. So what do you get high? What do you, you think he get high off of? I was good. That's what it's called. I was good. Something. I don't know what it do. The, I was good. The, the Native Americans did something about it and they was gone with it. You know what I mean? Hey. I think ayahuasca is acid <laughs> mixed with a Percocet. Oh, yeah. Hey, it might be. If and he, not, and, and, yo, and, and if, if that's if that's why if, drinking V8. <laughs> 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 like, it's not like the sonic complaint. It's from the, it's probably from the earth, right? It's from the earth. Made for him. Smoke it up. Like smoke it. So he smokes it, he in the, what like I, I don't know if you can smoke it, you inhale it, you maybe he hot boxed it, wherever he was at. <laughs> I don't know what he did. <laughs> he was maybe was in a tent in his backyard and he just put wow, that a flame. Hey Aaron Rodgers. <laughs> hey Aaron Rodgers. <laughs> Just make sure you save. Get some gloves, bro. Hey, contact. So, hey, 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 Ron. See you in the Jets. <laughs> if if uh, the Jets sign, they sign Alan Lazar, out whatever his name is. Yeah. He was yeah, taking a look at, at uh, Randall Cobb. Yeah. And this was all the stipulation. That's right. But what if Aaron Rodgers don't go? <laughs> So would it be his decision, or are you talking about like what if the Packers don't trade him because he's still under contract with the Packers? Ow, I'm making like I'm making your experience disgusting at this point. Like I need three uh, first round picks, I need two second round picks, I need one third pick, and I need something else. Look, because that's because for real, a Rod or what though? Because. A. A. Ron would be like, I'm not playing. He's a hippie. He don't give a crap. He I, I dig it. I dig it. But also at the same point, he got upper the, hands. What, what he don't understand is Green Bay still got the upper hand. No, he don't. He don't care. Shoot. <laughs> no. Because Shoot. If he don't play, who they got? Jordan Love. He's what? Jordan Love. He is what? He's what? Thank you. <laughs> did, he, did he play a full season yet? No, he, he played didn't. a couple games and you see what saw what happened. He looked like Trubisky. But, and, and, and he had a full offseason of right, so, because so, Aaron so, Rodgers so, so, is what they to Just to break it down for you. Just to break it down for you. Peyton Manning started off bad, too. Started off way bad. I don't think he was that bad. Oh, he was I mean, bad. He was Kenny Pickett bad. Oh, he was Kenny Pickett bad. He threw uh, three Jordan, picks first He wasn't first Jordan game. Love bad. Yeah, he was. Now, Jordan Love ain't never get a first Kenny down. Kenny Pickett. He didn't get a first down? I don't think so. Or he got like one or two. Mm. Dang. Jordan Love sucks. He, I watched the game when I'm starting with him. He's terrible. But he's just. And they still boss. By how much? Uh, uh, he threw like three interceptions, two one, but in the full way. Once. Scored twice. 
No, no. The offense scored. He scored no, once. He scored he twice. Scored twice. He, well, he, uh, ran it in twice. he ran it in. He ran it in. 24-20. The same amount of points he scored every game. But it was starting quarterback. <laughs> they was they was a plus team. They won ten games. They beat us. It doesn't matter. They after What's four that? after four they played. What is Lamar's record against Steelers when he starts? Us one. We won the Ravens. When we played the Ravens. He only played three. The, the year Ben was out because he tore something in his elbow. That's when he won both games. Then when Ben did play, he still lost. Then he didn't play the other ones. Oh, huh? good and. They still like he beats teams that don't matter. Anyway, um, this this is what I'm saying. Okay, so so in the draft, so in the draft, right? Since we know everything that that went on in free agency, we 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 got the linebackers that we said we needed. I mean, we have he cleared that whole room out. He fired the coaches and all. The yeah, we, we got we got linebackers that we don't know who they are, so they're probably middle of the pack. Okay, so so, so, so this I is, hope they fit. In. So this is what I'm gonna say. This is what I'm gonna say. I did some research. You know what I'm saying? These are run first. Oh yeah, yeah, they thumpers. They, they, yeah, these are, not, these are these are these are run first linebackers. Yeah. Don't get me wrong. Uh, Holcomb is not good in the past. He's not. He no, needs to work. Neither is Elder. No, that's, Roberts that's, is good. That's, Roberts that's is good. Facts. Yeah. The past being worried about that. We're worried about the run. Curtis isn't is. We got QBs. Mm-hmm. But look at the running backs we got. And corners. We got we got Nick. We got Nick Chubb. We got Jay Nixon. JK Dobbins. We got JK Dobbins. JK Dobbins. The first game we played, JK Dobbins had what, two hundred yards on us? Yeah. First half. And he ain't never do that with nobody. Yeah, he ain't never do that against us. He's giving up <clears throat> mad yards to everybody. Exactly. Ramon Ray Stevenson. <laughs> Blue Magic yeah. hair grease. Blue Magic. <laughs> this dude, here, he done put up a whole career highlight on us. Like, I was talking all that stuff on Philly, and we down there got Philly's whole. We got Philly's all O line. We give them <laughs> Terrell. Like, it's real good at Philly. How? O line wasn't the issue. Yeah, it wasn't. Yeah. Their O line was, was, was deep. They had three running backs back to you. That know. dude, Isaac, only allowed one sack. That's what you need, man, because. So, uh, because uh, Kevin Dodson they, uh, allowed Keen to get that because we uh, uh, and we 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 covered up sucks. We, we covered up uh, Dan. Yeah, no, I wasn't Dodson. Yep, yeah, it was Dodson. No, it was Dodson and Ogun. No, it was Dodson. Right in the middle. Was it and Ogun. Which game we talking about? The one that uh, he got the concussion. He was out. Because the one the concussion he got from the Ravens was um, Dan Moore's fault. Yeah, yeah, he's right. He's right. he's right. He's right. He's right. The one before was the one against the. Was Dawson's fault? That was Dawson. Yeah, you, cause you, cause like, look, the play is like he doubled with Dan Moore and do it with McLean and smashed him. No, he doubled with what's the call? He doubled with um, Oaken Doobie. No, no, Oaken, no, he, he, he went to the is that? No, uh, Oaken Force on the right side. And so it's it was it was Dan Moore. No, Dan and Dawson on the left side. He left tackle. It's Mason Cole. In the middle. Mason Cole. Mason Cole Center. Dotson. Oko Ford. Right. James Daniels. Dan Moore Jr. Correct. Okay. Correct. Correct. He's right. He's right. So, uh, address everything that we needed to address. We addressed the... Uh, the no, we the, didn't. Yeah. no, we didn't. No, we didn't. No, we didn't. No, we didn't. What, 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 what didn't we address? Right. We didn't, we didn't address receiver, but I still think there's more need as uh, for... Um, a corner... Yeah. We you no know, we do need no we do need a corner we need a slot corner for real for real, and um, we also need uh, a starting inside linebacker. One that's available, I go high pedigree. Right receiver. We signed OBJ. Is he signed for like seven mil or ten mil? Trade Beyonce to the Panthers, get a first round pick. Draft Jordan Anderson, Angela for a junior. You saw two problems right there. If they if they fall, they but fall. no, if they do fall, if they fall, to, we no one knows what's going to happen in the draft. Mm-hmm. If if they do fall, but I'm not. If if Addison is available at 32, grab. No, if Addison is available we'll at grab. 17, grab. Nope, nope. Yeah, they're going to get him at 17. Nope. I, they need him at 17. Nope. I wouldn't. I wouldn't. I, 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 hold I, on, hold on. And why is that? Because there's more pressure needs elsewhere. Left tackle drop. I'm getting them. So who do you think we should get at 17? I think we should get a lineman. I 
I think we should get him out with 17. Okay, so who do you think we should get at 32? The Steelers. So we're not going to do that. We're going to get a wide receiver. Or a linebacker. Or a corner. It's going to be probably Jack Corner or middle linebacker. Middle linebacker is going to be Jack Wilson. Uh, inside linebacker from Iowa. I think I think the yeah. first pick is uh, Jordan Addison, seventeen. No, I don't see that. I think I think I think Jordan I think Addison. Get the one We're gonna get him out there. I, and the reason why I say this is because of the chemistry between him and Pickett. That's gonna be like that's gonna be like that. The chemi- that chemistry is crazy. That's gonna be like Tua and Waddle or Joe Burrow and Jamar Chase. Or um, it works. Or Hurts and what's his name Smith. If we have a cor- if there's a corner that drops, I-, I think Devin Witherspoon is better than uh Joe uh Joey Porter. And I'd rather have Cam Smith because Cam Smith is that physical corner. And if your scenario happens, if we get OBJ, I'm not worried about drafting the corner. Yeah, if we get OBJ, I mean, I'm, I'm, I'm yeah. not about drafting the corner. And I would love to have OBJ, honestly. I would love to have Now now let me ask y'all this question. Do you think we should cut Deontay Johnson? No. no. I think we should trade him. To wherever and get another pick in the draft. Just trade him less than the three. I'm okay with that. I'm okay with trading Beyonce. Um, either trade him or keep him. But I'm I, not. I'm, I think, I'm not getting rid of him though. I think we should trade him to the Panthers because there was already rumors about it, and they only got one right receiver. Well, they got two right now, bro. Oh, yeah, they got. They just they got, picked they up got, Adam Thielen. Yeah, yeah. And DJ Clark. But let's be real. <laughs> Adam Thielen is not a right receiver. Anymore. Yeah, he's not. Neither is DJ Clark. Concept of trading DeAndre, but I'm not cutting. I don't think I don't think he's a good wide receiver. One, he's not, not to me. So I think we should trade him. I think we should free up that <clears throat> that ten million. Uh, what if what if we uh, come in uh, in the season and uh, uh, George GP mm. is number one and DeAndre? He's, I think two. he's gonna be. I think okay. he's gonna be. Like I don't think now now what now would that make would that make a good uh uh you know Deontay be number two would that would that help would that suffice? Oh uh, how I think about it if we don't draft Jordan Addison but we trade Deontay still I think we should sign OBJ have him at number two. No way OBJ going to play number two to George Pickens. Yeah, and, uh, his pride right. ain't gonna do even, that. Even if look, even if you play number one and ZP, ZP play number two, them two catching the ball is crazy. Crazy. That's, um, you that's can that's put the ball anywhere. Exactly. So that opens it up for Calvin Austin. Technically, they're gonna try double team all three of them. Uh, okay. Because I'm, I'm me personally, if I'm at corner, I'm not ignoring someone who runs a four point zero rather set by myself. No one even tried. You know what? Look, 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 this, 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 this is it, though. Like, if you do that, you can't double that many people. Especially if that's in this type of NFL. Gonna be open. Because you still got Pat, Pat Fryer move in the passing game. And you still got to worry about um, uh, Najee running the ball. And you? in the passing game. And in the passing game. Right. So, and Jalen Warren. I mean, yeah. Yeah, who, whoever. Because Jalen Warren and, is. And Connor Hayward. I mean, he evilly didn't do nothing I, this year, but he can catch. He can I, I think he, catch. I think it'll be more of a factor this he year. He can definitely catch. Yeah, um, they, they did they did resign Zach Gentry, which was a good pickup. Yeah, that's a good pickup. So another episode of You Had to Be There podcast, yes, sir. featuring my homie Styles, man. You know what I'm saying? Please like, subscribe, right. comment, and let us know how you feel. You know what I mean about all this. And like I said, we'll see y'all next episode, man. We oh, yeah. out.